Hi there. Welcome to another Career X episode. My name is Pius Henry, a digital marketing manager at the Bulb Africa. 2023 has come with many new changes in tech, primarily powered by what I like to describe as the AI revolution. With artificial intelligence and other evolving technologies, there has never been a better time to work in tech. Plus, with many jobs set to phase out in 2020 and be replaced by technologies like AI and machine learning, you may be considering switching careers or starting a professional career in the tech industry. So today, I am going to take you on a complete guide on how to start a tech career. While it may seem like such a broad and challenging area, you don't need to be a wonder juniors or have a university degree to get started. In this video, I will explain in five steps how you can kickstart your career in technology. The first step is research. This is a crucial step, especially since technology is broad with each aspect requiring different skill sets. Hence, before learning a random skill you may have heard of, you need to conduct some research. Learn about the career paths involved in tech and find out which excites you the most. Some careers you can research include web development, product design, data analytics, product management, digital marketing, 3D modeling, and animation. The great thing about researching tech careers is that there is an abundance of information on the internet to help you. You could watch videos on YouTube, including some of our past Career X episodes, and read as many articles as possible. Another great way to learn more about these careers and their challenges is by speaking to someone in the industry. If you have an existing relationship with one, you should definitely reach out. If you don't, consider connecting with some professionals on platforms like LinkedIn and politely asking them why they chose their current career paths. Remember to keep your request polite and direct. The second step is choosing your career. After conducting the necessary research, you might already know the career path you like to pursue. If you are still unsure, don't panic. Instead, list out about three careers that appeal to you during your research. To finally narrow it down to just one, consider your current skills and which career path aligns better with them. For example, project management might fit you best if you currently excel at managing people and multiple projects. Also, when narrowing down to a particular career, passion is a factor that is often talked about. While it is no doubt quite important, you should also consider opportunities. Ultimately, the goal is to find a career that you enjoy doing, but also bring considerable opportunities to help you grow. Finally, it is vital to remember that whatever career path you start with doesn't necessarily mean that that is what you have to stick with. You may become a DevOps engineer and switch to full stack development later. The important thing is that you get started. Plus, every knowledge gained along the way helps you become an even better professional. The third step is finding helpful resources. Fortunately, technology might probably be one of the few fields with an unending supply of learning materials online, including free resources. Several platforms provide free and paid training to anyone who wants to kickstart their career. Simply visit your preferred search engine and search for phrases like how to learn software testing for free, for example. If you would like to enroll in paid programs, you can tweak the phrase to fit your needs. An excellent example of a free platform is FreeCodeCamp. If you enjoy learning online and at your own pace, it is a great place to start. Another great platform is our training program called The Fellowship at the Ball, which offers physical and virtual training for prospective techies in Nigeria. While this isn't a free training service, payment is flexible. Fellows can pay at the beginning or in installments after getting a job post the fellowship. Fellowship is currently accepting applications for data analytics, product design, and product management. Visit the link in our description box below and apply and begin your journey into tech. A key thing to remember is you need to choose a learning resource that works for you as they go a long way in either accelerating or derailing your journey. While learning online may work for others, you may be the type of person that prefers an on-site learning experience and the community it brings. The goal here is to tailor your learning resources to your preference. The fourth step is to start learning. Once you've done your research, chosen a field and the right learning resources, the only thing left to do is channel your passion and enthusiasm for technology into learning. 
Set a schedule that works for you and try to learn for at least an hour each day. If you can spare more time, that's even better. The more you learn, the better you become and the closer you get to excelling in tech. When learning, remember that you are not just learning to pass the test or exams. You are learning to be able to put these skills into practice and build on them. Thus, as much as possible, try to put your skills to the test by contributing to open source project. This will help you strengthen your skills and prepare you for a real work environment. Finally, the last step is to start building projects. One mistake beginners tend to make is thinking they need to know it all before they start building. Unfortunately, this only leads to months of learning without tangible evidence of your skills. Instead, build projects on the side as you learn. As soon as you have the basic knowledge in your area of specialization, start building it. Not only is it a great way to fast track your learning, but it is also evidence to future recruiters that you possess the skill they need. The projects you build should be added to your portfolio, which serves as a display of what you can do and a testament of your skills. To so bring this to a close, do not forget or underestimate the power of persistency. Consistency goes a long way and will take you far. Learning can be challenging and you might get stuck, especially if you're learning virtually. However, as long as you do your best to continually improve your skills and reach out to professionals, when you encounter a blocker, you are on the right path to becoming one of the top professionals in your field. Remember to never stop learning. Technology is evolving. If you stop, you will get left behind. Subscribe to our channel and read our blog posts to stay on track with evolving tech trends and career paths. If you have a topic you would like us to cover next, let us know in the comment section. Bye for now. I'll see you in the next episode.